Hi, my name is Kent C. Dodds, and I'm going to be talking about AngularJS Batarang and some of the cool things that you can do with it. I'm not going to go over everything, it's just mostly uh, the Elements tab and the uh, console, what Batarang gives you in those contexts. So first, uh, um, here's our little app. We have this Angular example, hi there, I'm first, I'm second, and so we get those from these three controllers. We have a main controller, first controller, second controller. Um, we're using the controller as syntax, and so uh, for some of these, and so I'm just taking this um, and assigning it to VM and then assigning greeting and alert me, and then I'm actually injecting the scope here um, and assigning alert me to to that, just to illustrate something that you'll see in a little bit. So then we have this first controller, we're not using the controller as syntax and we're actually injecting the scope, and then we have the second tro controller which we are using the controller as syntax. So then we have uh, the VM greeting here, uh, because we're using uh, controller as VM, and then um, first controller just plain old greeting, second controller as second, so the greeting, and then we are iterating over this list of items. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the cool things Batarang gives us. So the first thing is uh, over here we have this new panel called AngularJS Properties. So if you go ahead and open that up, um, then uh, just change your selection and you'll see um, your, whatever is selected in here will uh, Angular JS Battering will show you the scope and all the properties and objects on the scope. So um, as I change this around, these are the same scope, right? So nothing's changing. But if I go down here, now these are different scopes. So the idea is three here, two here, and you have a couple of different things. So now you have greeting. Um, here you have the VM because the controller has VM. Um, but you also have the alert me to because we injected scope into the main controller and assigned alert me to to it. Um, and then for a second, we have this second because we're using controller as second and all the properties that we put on to second, which is greeting and items. So we do have scope inheritance. So you have the main controller as VM is, is encapsulating the first controller and the second controller. So if I go down in here, I'm not seeing um, this VM or this alert me too, but uh, another really cool thing that Batarang does for us is what it does in our console. So if I say dollar scope, that's assigned to the current scope or the scope of the current element selected. And so because of scope inheritance, I can say uh, scope dot alert me too. And so that is using um, the main controllers alert me too uh, because this is being wrapped. Um, and so then I also have the greeting and that's the greeting on this um, scope I am first um, and then up here if I go um, to here you can see we have the VM so I have scope.vm and down here I actually also have access to scope.vm for the inheritance reasons um, and then here I have scope.second and I am second um, so one other cool uh, thing, or, or just using the same principle, you can see the properties over here um, on this iterated list because there's a scope on an ng repeat. Um, it adds a couple of properties to our scope that we have access to, and so we can access those very easily. So I can say scope dot even uh, that's true. Scope dot first is false, and last will be false, but middle will be true. And so being able to do this um, just right in, in the elements tab is really handy. Um, and then just another tip. So if we say scope.vm.greeting um, equals hello world, you'll notice it doesn't get updated. And the reason for that is because we haven't um, digested. So we'll just scope.apply. And now you see hello world is uh, updated. So you can do anything that you could do with a normal scope um, uh, situation. And so you just scope dot broadcast or, or whatever it is that you want uh, right in your console. It makes developing Angular applications much faster and nicer to deal with. And so that's AngularJS Battering. Give it a look.